The ocean is full of so many amazing different invertebrates from octopus and squids to jellyfish and corals, but perhaps one of my favorite oceanic invertebrates is the sea star. And you might be more familiar with it being called a starfish, however it's actually called a sea star now because it's not a true fish. It actually shares very little in common with a true fish. And while we might think of sea stars generally being in a shallow, warm, rocky tide pool, they actually can live in a whole bunch of different habitats. So they do, some of them do live in those nice, warm, shallow waters, but some of them actually live way deep down in the dark ocean too. And there's a lot of reasons that they can live in so many different environments because they're so adaptable. So if you picture a sea star, you would probably picture their five long arms and their center body, which we call the disc. And the five arms actually all have little eye spots at the end, so they can't see like you and I. They can kind of just tell when it's light and when it's dark. And then that center body that they have, that's kind of where all the good stuff is. So their mouth is actually on the underside of that disc, right in the middle. And then their belly, all their guts are kind of right in that center area. And on the, under, the underside of their body, they have some really incredible feet. We call them tube feet. And they actually are kind of like little suction cups. And the starfish will use those to move around on the ocean floor. They actually will use those tube feet to stick to things as well, like rocks. And then they will also actually use those tube feet. They can pick up smells and taste with those feet as well. So as they're walking across the ocean floor, if they come across a food item, they can kind of taste it and smell it with their feet and then move in and eat it. And that's something else that's really cool about sea stars is how they eat. So they can eat a whole bunch of different things. They're what we call an opportunistic hunter, so they'll kind of just eat whatever they come across. So if that's a dead animal or if that's some algae or something, they'll kind of eat whatever they can get, but they almost have a little superpower. They actually can take their stomach, some species can take their stomachs and stick it out of their mouths. So if there's an animal like a clam who's in a tight shell, they can kind of squeeze their stomach through the small opening on the shell and start to partially digest all the good stuff inside and then they kind of slurp it back inside their bodies. So it's really weird and it looks kind of funny, but it's really helpful for them where food's not always available or food is trapped inside these hard shells. And something else that's amazing about them, because they've got most of that good stuff right in their center disc, if they lose an arm, they actually can regrow it. But if they lose enough of that center body, they can actually grow a whole new starfish and kind of clone themselves. So where you started with one, it got a little bit damaged, and now you have two. And they can lose their arms for a couple reasons. They can either lose it if a predator or something bites it off or attacks it and it gets stuck. Um, but they also, if something is clinging on to them, they can let go of their arm and just leave it behind and try to escape and that helps protect them from being eaten. So there's a lot of really amazing things that sea stars do. They're actually really closely related to sea urchins. They're part of the same family and they have a lot in common. Sea urchins also have those tube feet that they use to move around uh, and that same type of mouth at the underside of their body, though I don't think they can stick their stomachs out. So sea stars are a really incredible and adaptable group of animals and I hope you guys learned some stuff about them that you didn't know before.